Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChuchuChicken.com here with yet another exciting Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to go over some pretty useful tips and tricks and all that stuff. We're going to go over very briefly some skin cleanup and what we're going to be focusing on mainly is skin smoothing just to smooth over skin and make it look nice and clean and just to top it off maybe add some contrasting and brighten up the eyes in whatever picture we're working on so overall we're going to be getting a pretty nice little effect and I'm just going to try and keep this under 10 minutes or something along those lines just to keep things short sweet and to the point in any case just go ahead and open up whatever picture it is that you are wanting to edit and add the skin smoothing and all that stuff to and if there happens to be a lock on it and it says background just give your layer a double click and name it original and with your original layer selected go ahead and duplicate it with control J or command J to make a copy of it that way we've just got this little backup just in case we end up screwing up later on and so we're just gonna rename this layer cleanup because we are going to use it to clean up our acne and all that other stuff and we're just gonna keep this simple we'll go over to our spot healing brush over here on our left side and then if you go down to this little drop down arrow right here give that a click and make sure your hardness is down to 85 percent just to have a little bit of softness around the edges and all that stuff and so I'm just gonna zoom in using my scroll wheel which is an option I enabled in the the options of Photoshop and if you use your left and right brackets you can size up or size down your brush and so just make it roughly the size of whatever acne you're trying to get rid of and give that a click and that should clean it up for you if it doesn't look that great don't worry about it the skin smoothing is gonna smooth it out anyway so just go through and just do some clicks on some things that you don't really want to see on your skin while sizing your brush and all that stuff and if you're zoomed in you can use the space bar to click and drag around the canvas that way you can navigate cleanly and all that other stuff so just go through and get rid of any of these spots or little things of acne that you are not gonna want to see okay so once you've used your spot healing brush to just do a quick little cleanup around the acne and blemishes and stuff like that you can do a little bit of a before and after to see whether or not you actually like that and if you do go ahead and duplicate the cleanup layer by hitting control J or command J if you are on a Mac and we're just gonna rename this layer smooth or smooth skin you know whatever you want and what we're gonna do to this is gonna seem a little bit bizarre but just follow along and it will look pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and invert this layer by hitting control I or command I and then we're gonna change the blend mode to vivid light yes I know it looks weird don't worry about it it's all good and we're just gonna zoom in just a little bit on the face just so we can see what's going on if there's a bunch of weird colors and stuff don't really worry about it and we're gonna go to filter blur Gaussian blur and what the Gaussian blur is gonna do is determine how much texture you're actually going to see in your skin so the more blur that you have the more texture you're gonna see the less blur you have the less texture you know but and vice versa so what you're gonna want to do is just kinda click through the radius just to see what it is that you like and I'm thinking somewhere around 7 is actually looking pretty good because over here in my cheek I can see some of the texture and so just with that in mind I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK with a radius of 7.8 yes I've still got like random blue splotches and all that but that's okay because that's not gonna show up later and now we're gonna go up to filter other high pass and the high pass filter is just going to determine how smooth your skin is actually going to look so when you amp up the radius on the high pass filter you're gonna slowly see your skin just kinda start smoothing but when you get to a certain point you're gonna see this kind of ghosting effect going on you're gonna get weird colors and things of that sort and when you get to that you probably wanna go back down to something that looks a little bit more realistic yet still really smooth so something for me is probably a, more around the 13 pixels radius just kinda get something that looks pretty nice to you 
and you'll hit OK and I'll zoom back out just to see how it's looking but since everything is getting that smoothing look it kind of looks a little unrealistic so what we're gonna do is go up to layer layer mask hide all and that's gonna hide everything on this layer and since that's a little counterproductive since we wanna see our smooth skin we're just gonna swap over to our brush tool with the letter B and we'll make sure that the hardness is all the way down to zero percent and we'll maybe amp up the, the size a little bit so it's a little bit more uh, there we go a little bit better size there and so what we're gonna do is make sure that our foreground color is set to white rather than black and all we're gonna do is paint in white on this layer mask right uh, that you can see over here we've got a layer mask going that's filled with black Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and paint in white on areas that we want to see our smooth skin. For example, like here in the cheeks, uh, maybe down into the neck, and down here closer to the, the neck chest area. And my brush is a little too big, so I'll size it down with the left bracket and paint in more right here around my fingers because I don't want to get my fingers in, I just want my face to be smooth. And so I'll go ahead and get maybe the tip of the nose, the bridge, under the eyes over here, more into the cheeks, maybe right there under the nose. And something that you want to avoid is getting right here on the nostril because that usually ends up really weird. So avoid getting on the nostril because it's most likely just going to look bizarre. And then, so I'm just going to continue up the bridge of the nose into the forehead and just keep painting white into this area right here. And so that's looking pretty good right there. You might want to get into the roots of the hair to kind of smooth out the effect. And then I'll just finish off with that temple right there. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and size up the brush and get into the hair up here because I kind of like how that was looking so that looks pretty good right there before and after yep I like how that looks so turning this on and off you can kind of see the smooth skin and the not quite so bright hair and all in all that looks pretty good so um, to finish this off we'll just go ahead and start adding in some contrasting so I'm gonna go over here to my adjustments layer and I'm gonna bring up the levels and I'm gonna bring in the blacks a little bit maybe bring in the whites just a touch and do a little before and after with this icon just to see the effect that we're getting here and then I'm gonna go back and add another adjustments uh, layer right there and I'll zoom in on my eye and I'll just pay attention to how my eye is looking as I'm tweaking these right here by bringing in the blacks and bringing in the whites and moving in they're moving over the midtones uh, slider right there just to see what we're getting and since I don't want this entire picture to be blown out like that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is inverted by hitting Control i That way everything's hidden. And I can just go ahead and do what we did before and paint in white on the areas that we want to see with this adjustment layer here. And I'll go over to this eye and paint in right here as well. and so we'll just continue messing with these just to see what we get and that looks pretty great right there so that was a quick look at how you can use a couple different filters and levels and stuff like that to really make your picture a lot more smooth and a lot more contrasted and just overall look really amazing I hope you learned something new from this. Uh, it's an effect that I've been using a lot more in my pictures just because it looks so awesome in the end. You just got to tweak with it a little bit and get something that you like. And in the end, I just hope you learned something new and had fun with it. So thank you for watching. I will see you next Tuesday.